All praise, honor, and glory go to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Peace and safety to the hopefully elect, all the sincere. Akim, pushing Heavenly Father's word out of a pure heart and sincerity and in truth. And for everybody that don't know Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father who the world ignorantly calls God and Yahweh Shai. That's the name of the only begotten Son who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And what you're looking at on your screen is uh, basically where this uh, fire-breathing dragon being Leviathan doctrine derived from. Um, it says Leviathan is a mythical. So right there is telling you it's a myth. It's a myth, meaning a fable. All right, a figment of Esau imagination. All right, it's not truth. It's not based on truth. But you have these zombies, these one West Hebrew Israelism, basically, which is a spinoff of Judaism. It's just a spinoff of Judaism because they're teaching. Uh, the same doctrine, and here's the proof. Uh, creature which, with the form of a sea serpent in Judaism. And basically, that's where these guys get this uh, fire-breathing dragon, this Puff the Magic Dragon uh, doctrine of uh, Leviathan being Godzilla from, from Ju Judaism, man. Which that Israelism religion is just a spinoff of uh, uh, Judaism, man. All right. The same way they deny the new covenant, they do they do not deny the new covenant, basically denying Yahweh Shah the same way that Judaism do, man. Okay, their salvation don't come through the new covenant, meaning Yahweh Shah. Their salvation, their righteousness come through uh, the law, man, through the old covenant. So, just another Jewish fable. Uh, exposed, I'm exposing these uh, Israelism cult uh, leaders that teach this Godzilla, this mythical creature, fire breathing dragon, puff the magic dragon doctrine as being Leviathan. So it says, and it referenced in several books in the Hebrew Bible, including Psalms, the book of Job. The book of Isaiah and the book of Amos, it is also mentioned in the Apocrypha and the book of Enoch, which I don't subscribe to the book of Enoch, but also in the Apocrypha, um, it speaks of Leviathan. And I have a question for these uh, tried and refined guys uh, that teach that Leviathan is is a metaphor, basically, uh, is a symbolic of, of people, of the nations. But according to Ezra in the Apocrypha, uh, Leviathan was created on the fifth day. And we know in the creation, man was created on the sixth day. So I would like those guys to clear that up. Um, but back to this uh, wicked elder Tahar, uh, the one, the whole One West Hebrew Israelism cult uh, basically teach that Leviathan is a f fire breathing dragon. Puff the magic dragon, and as you can see on your screen, that doctrine, that Jewish fable, came from Ju Judaism, man. All right, and uh, basically, uh, that's the point 